Alrighty. Today I decided to continue the SpongeBob. We're back with more Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So last time we pretty much completed the first third of the game. Save for a couple of backtracking that we're going to have to do later. So for this stream I'm pretty much going to try and go through the second third of the game. So here we go. We went through Jellyfish Fields, Downtown Bikini Bottom, and Goo Lagoon. And we fought the robot Sandy at the Poseidon. And we also got a couple of golden spatulas in Bikini Bottom along the way. Now, today we start at Rock Bottom. At Rock Bottom. Where our main mission is to collect some artwork for Mrs. Puff. Oh, here's a nice little reference here. <laughs> I'm not leaving this it spot shines. no matter what. This is a sleepy time robot. SpongeBob must sneak carefully when near him or he will wake. Sneak, move left stick gently or push the ZL button. I don't know if I mentioned this last time, last time, but this uh, sneak button wasn't a part of the original version of this game. All you had to, all you had to sneak was uh, pressing the control stick lightly. So that made sneaking a lot easier in this game. Yeah, like I said, our main objective is collecting all the artwork for Mrs. Puff. And the first order of business is to go to the museum. Oh, there's also there's one right there. Go to the Rock Bottom Museum. Hooray for cutscenes, give me invincibility. This platform will collapse unless SpongeBob sneaks across them very carefully. 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 Come on, dude, I'm facing you! Alright, alright, hang on a second. You've just met the Spongeinator. Fresh like a spring breeze. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hey, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. I like Bubble Buddy's voice. <laughs> So, uh, can you give me a hint on how to get to the museum? I would if I could, my little square friend. I think as far as I know, Bubble I Buddy has only Bubble been in presents. two episodes of the show. You had the Bubble Buddy in season two, and I think it was <laughs> season seven or eight, when they had like an episode called Bubble Buddy Returns. But from what I hear, he's barely in that episode. It's just his son that's the main star of that one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, rude.
Okay, Thunder Tiki, and another... Terrain was messing up my bubble bowl. Just my size. Just my size. Since I want to know with Undertaker. I'm about my There we go. I feel like a new spot. I feel like a new spot. I feel like a new spot. I don't know what a spot is. You're now spa bob. Spring boop squire pin. No, I worked forever on those life-size Krabby Patty mannequins of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. For these life-size Krabby Patty mannequins of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Hey, Spring boops, Spring boop squire pin stole my idea. Needs to do laundry. She's probably gonna die right here, but oh well. Ooh. Patrick needs to do laundry. Here's my excuse to get more shiny objects anyway. Shiny objects the better, and the easier it'll be to pay Mr. Krabs. Let's see if I can get as much as I can so y'all don't have to wait on the finale too long. Because I was thinking of just uh, getting most of the Mr. Krabs golden spatulas off screen. So y'all wouldn't have to. Watch me like There's drawing like the smell golden spatulas for maybe uh. Smells like victory. Y'all wouldn't have to watch me grind golden spatulas for two streams or something. All y'all have to watch is the final boss. Did I say grind golden spatulas? I meant grind shiny objects. I'm getting the mixed up here. Thinking of the episode, I'm with stupid right now. <laughs> I don't know why I just am. Time for a little sleepy Oop. snake. Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm out of your light. There we go. Fresh like a spring breeze. This used to be my least favorite. I feel like a new sponge. It used to be my least favorite robot to deal with until they made sneaking in this game easier than in the original. Was waiting for you. Hey, it's me trying to see how you're doing. Welcome, welcome. Up for a game of SpongeBob? Thank for some more SpongeBob today, and we're starting off in rock bottom. I 
Has Rock Bottom ever actually been in another episode of Spongebob? Besides the one in season one? Sponge. You know what? I need to take these out with a little bit. Polo Make things easier for me. Now we all jump up this big giant toothbrush. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> giant toothbrushes in rock bottom. And here is where we switch to Sandy. actually make it and that the tartar would stop me. I go over here and we get another sock. Well I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. That makes that little Texas thing appear. Swing on it. Yeah. It's one golden spatula for rock bottom. about this next part with the museum we're about to enter the museum and there's a big old there's a mission from barnacle boy in there we're gonna find barnacle boy in there and he has a mission for us but thing is the game kind of expects you to play as spongebob for this part coming up but playing this part at sandy is actually a lot easier Sponge kid comes back again, okay? Oh, 
holy sea cow is that sponge kid. Quick lad, to the invisible boatmobile. Some battle for Bikini Bottom today. We're in the Rock Bottom Museum. I was saying earlier before I came in here, this game kind of expects you to play a SpongeBob for this part, but playing a Sandy is a lot easier. As a kid, I played it on my PS2. I miss my PS2. Can't play Crash Twin Sanity or Tekken 4 and 5 anymore. is too valuable to lose. <laughs> I wish I still had my PS2 and I wish I still had all my PS2 games. But once my, uh, but I think my PS2 had started to, my PS2 was like on life support or something. Look at me, Patrick, I'm Texas, yep. I don't know what happened to my PS2, I guess it just, it eventually stopped working or maybe I, like, lost. I like lost my PlayStation 2 memory cards or something. But I'm pretty sure I don't have my PS2 anymore. I definitely don't have my games. It was pretty much like right after uh, PlayStation 3 stopped being all backwards compatible. They had like the new models that weren't backwards compatible. That's when I was like, oh man, so what am I going to do with all these PS2 games? And I was like, eh, I guess I'll sell them the game stop or something. The boxing episode is hysterical. Yes, it is. Hang on a moment, what's some of the art that Mrs. Puff wants doing inside the museum? Good point. <laughs> Actually, don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answers to. <laughs> that's what, that's Mrs. Puff's words, not mine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what season. I don't know what season this was. I was actually watching a few SpongeBob clips earlier today, like from some of the later seasons, the ones I haven't watched. And I saw one from an episode called Nutcase, where I think uh, Sandy was. I think the plot is about Sandy like growing acorns in her tree dome. She likes. She like wants really big acorns, She's trying to like figure that out, figure that out, and everything. I was allowed to this place remind me of Hyrule Castle and Twilight Princess. That's kind of... That's kind of like that, doesn't it? Okay, 
better. Uh. The teleport box. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Texas barbecue sauce. Can we say that shoes from Texas are dumb? Ew. I miss the dumb. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Why are you wearing his underwear? I just use the base one pop just got stupid. Toasted tiki Texas style. Oh no, I was uh, watching, uh, I was just talking about how I was watching some clips of Spongebob earlier today, like this morning, and they were uh, mostly actually post-season post, post season 3 stuff, like probably like way, probably like season 9 through 11 kind of things. I thought they were pretty funny. How would we do with ducks back home? Three words, barbecue! Over for me on soon. <laughs> Bold and brash painting in the museum. Oh yeah. The Squidward Bold and Brash. I call this Squidward Bold and Brash. More like belongs in the trash. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I missed that one. <laughs> there were a couple of, uh, I pointed out a couple of references, uh, in my, whoops. Why did I not, uh, last time over there? I, I pointed out a couple of references in my last stream. That they said I did yesterday, there are a couple of pictures that referenced other Spongebob episodes. Like some from seasons 1 through 3. Like there was one where they referenced uh, No Weenies Allowed, where it's a picture of Spongebob with his tough guy hairdo. Watch, check him out, man.